I lived my entire life in LA, so I don't take my decision to leave lightly. Will I regret it? Will I miss it? I go back and forth on these thoughts all the time as I'm dealing with the stress of having to move my entire life somewhere else. In this video, I'm going to show you all the reasons why I'm leaving California and why you shouldn't move here. I'm going to be judging California by three categories, cost of living, quality of life, and opportunity. Starting with cost of living. If you're anything like me, a 29 year old millennial woman, you are obsessed with Zillow and you are obsessed with maybe one day owning your own home. That would be nice. Because I grew up in California, I grew up assuming that I will never be able to afford a home, period. Partly because of all the articles I read while in college that brainwashed me into believing this. Until I realized the people writing these articles were also young, broke millennials who wanted to live in one of the most expensive cities in the country. That assumption was false then, but unfortunately it's become pretty true recently because of inflation. Even if you live an hour away from city center, a three bedroom, two bath house is most likely going to cost around $700,000 or more. The only way a young person is going to afford buying property in California is if you're willing to live pretty much in the middle of nowhere or you somehow strike it rich in big tech or Hollywood. This basically handicaps all young people because buying property is typically the first step to building wealth for a lot of people. So in order to live in California, you have to be basically one of three things. You were born here, you are rich, or you're willing to live paycheck to paycheck on what would be considered a pretty decent job anywhere else in the country. So because you can't afford a house, you're probably going to get yourself a one-bedroom apartment, right? After the pandemic, that typically costs anywhere between $1,700 to $1,800 a month. Utilities will cost you anywhere between $200 to $600 a month, depending on the city. Groceries for a small family is probably going to cost anywhere between $500 to $600 or more dollars per month, depending because inflation has made food practically double in price in the past few months. So in my opinion, you basically have to be making $2,400 a month to be living a pretty average lifestyle in LA. That's about $60,000 a year. How many young people are making that much money straight out of college? Out of all of my millennial friends who are basically in their 30s at this point, very few of them are actually making this much. And I haven't even talked about the cost of gas and the price of owning a car, because you have to own a car in LA. Everything is very spread out and it's the only way to get across town because public transportation is a nightmare. Gas is going to be an expensive weekly cost and it's only going to go up because for whatever reason, the people here keep voting for the gas tax to increase every single year because our government tricks them into thinking that all that money is going to go to fixing the roads and towards green energy except our roads aren't fixed and our green energy I don't even know if it exists because we get rolling blackouts every single year and insurance for your car is going to cost close to two thousand dollars on top of all of that California has some of the highest state income tax in all of the country I actually think it's the highest and they're considering doubling the state income tax <laughs> that hurts my soul because when I was working at Disney I was basically paying 25 to $35,000 a year in income tax. That's a whole person's salary. Doubling that makes it so, why would I even want to work? Why would anybody want to work at that point? For what? And if you're young, you might think what I used to think when I was young and naive. That taxes aren't all bad because we need them in order to help people that need help, to fund green energy, to do things we normally wouldn't have the money for. But let me tell you, young viewer, as I got older and slightly wiser, not by much enough. I felt lied to, especially by the Californian government. We were promised a lot of things, like our water scarcity to be fixed, like a fast bullet train, like the ones they have in Asia to bring us from LA to San Francisco in a few hours. We were promised our roads to be fixed and the homeless to be helped. None of that ever happened. And yet a third of my income just went poof into thin air. And what I learned in my 20s are that people are incompetent and the government are full of incompetent people who think they know how to handle your money better than you do. And now for quality of life. And you might be thinking, well, you pay all that money to live in beautiful weather, in a beautiful state where you can just drive to the beach and lay in the sand all day. Except the good weather is basically the only thing California has going for it in terms of quality of life because of homelessness and crime and annual forest fires. The homelessness situation is out of control. I'm seeing homeless encampments in the suburban enclaves that typically just don't have that problem. Theft is so common that people will tell you not to leave anything valuable in your car because it's gonna get broken into. I would definitely advise not to go outside at night in certain areas unless you want to be one of the myriad of people that have had very very awful things happen to them because they're not from here and they do that because why? For example, as someone who's familiar with the USC area, don't go outside at night. And even if you have 
have a lot of money, you're still going to be living right next to homeless encampments. Why people in animation still choose to live here, I have no clue. There's also a really big possibility the big one will hit. And the big one is basically the giant earthquake that is going to come one day and take us all out. The food in LA used to be really good, but something about the pandemic and maybe inflation has really sucked the life and soul out of people. So they don't want to work anymore. And you just might get food poisoning. And when you eat out, it's going to cost at least 15 to 20 dollars per person for something like a simple burger or something. For that much money, I should be getting better quality food, not worse than before. The thing is, if you're a Californian like me, you probably didn't notice it getting that bad. The only reason why I did is because I went traveling to places like Texas and Arizona where the food is like twice, three times as good for like half the cost. For activities, other than going to bars, it's very not fun to be going to anything like a music event, a sporting event, a gallery show because the wait times are going to be crazy. It's going to be really, really, really expensive. Just to go to the beach now costs $20 just for parking these days. Bars are the exception because everyone just wants to drown their sorrows. But you're going to be paying at least $100 if you want to get lit because the drinks are weak as fuck. And the traffic just to get to some of these places is going to be ridiculous. You're going to be spending more time in traffic than actually enjoying your life in California. And let's talk about the people. I watched a bunch of these Leaving California videos and I've seen a lot of people talk about how fake and self-absorbed a lot of people here in California are. But that's typically being said by people who aren't from here like I am. I think Californians are actually one of the realest, most down-to-earth people I have ever met. Partly because they do have to live right next to Hollywood. Some people who call themselves Californians are actually transplants who work in Hollywood. Those are some of the most narcissistic psychos I have ever met in my entire life. And they come here from all over the country. But unfortunately for me, many of my friends who are normal have moved away or have lives of their own now, so I don't actually see them all that much on a daily basis. And because most of the other people here are transplants, there's no real sense of community. I thought I had one when I was working in Hollywood, but these Hollywood types are only friends with you when it benefits them. The minute things get hard, these so-called friends are going to disappear. Just look at any Hollywood celebrity that has recently been canceled. Where are their friends? Most of the people I interact with on the day-to-day -day are strangers, and the mental health of most people here isn't that great. People are angry, anxious, cranky, and prone to yelling at you for no apparent reason. For example, I've noticed a huge uptick in drunk drivers during the past two years. Every single time I come back from visiting another state, I'm a whole new person, and I just slowly see myself revert back to your typical angry Californian that has no time to deal with any of your bullshit. I just don't like the person I'm becoming just by being here. My friends and family were the last thing keeping me tied down to California, and even that is gone. Now for opportunity. It's kind of the reason why people move to LA. You see it in movies. The young aspiring actress moves to LA and then gets discovered by a big Hollywood producer. What it's really like is you move here, you get a job in Target trying to make ends meet, and you wait around until someone finally notices you, but that day never really comes. And maybe one day you finally do make it, except you turn into an awful human being that treats other people like shit because you were treated like or shit. Or you never make it, but your pride is too hurt to go back home with your tail between your legs, so you just bum it in LA for as long as you can. And I've talked to so many Hollywood hopefuls that don't understand that Hollywood doesn't even pay that much compared to the cost of living that you have to have to have a halfway decent life here. When it's pretty difficult to get even an entry-level job in Hollywood, how much are you willing to put up with just to live paycheck to paycheck? And the saddest part, some people don't even understand that you don't even really get the status of being associated with Hollywood anymore. Because people are more impressed if you're a social media influencer in 2022 than saying that you were some PA for some TV show. And if it's wanting to work in a creative field that you're after, you can do that anywhere now with the invention of the internet. You can make your own creative project and make it wildly successful without having to bend over backwards, sell your soul to a bunch of industry gatekeepers that will chew you up spit you out when you are no longer useful to them. So whenever I have anxiety that I might be making the wrong decision to leave California, I think about these things and I realize the California that I would miss is long gone and has already been gone for a really long time. If you were in my shoes, would you leave California? And maybe I've convinced you to move too. So to check out other states to potentially consider moving to, check out these videos next.